All right, here we go, here we go. Are you fishing yet? Are you fishing tournaments? Co-anglers, are you fishing? How you doing? Uh, my tournaments haven't started yet, but I'm a couple weeks out, so how do you prepare as a co-angler for these tournaments? Well, first off, hopefully you're signed up. Hopefully you're signed up with a guaranteed boater. If you're not signed up with a guaranteed boater, um, see if you're confirmed. If you're confirmed, it's all good. There's enough boaters to co-anglers. If you're not confirmed, you might want to call FLW, see what's up with that, see how many boaters you need to sign up before you're confirmed. So, you know, you might not get into the tournament if you're too far out, if there's not enough boaters that sign up, but it is what it is. So, yeah. Um... If you're confirmed, you're ready to go, but you need lodging, right? So hopefully you all got lodging. I don't have any lodging. I screwed up. I'm two weeks out. Uh, hopefully I can figure something out, but it is what it is. I'll figure it out. Sleep in the back of my truck if I have to. It's okay. But lodging is important. A good night's rest for the tournament is important. Make sure you're going to be able to attend the pre-tournament meeting. Um, Basically, you if you can't, you got to get a hold of your tournament director. Someone's got to stand in for you, get information, whatever. They text everything now, so it's a little easier. But don't just skip it and not tell anyone. Um, you know they'll they'll give you some leeway if you can't make it. But it's best to make it for one to meet your boater, get all the info on that. But two, learn the rules. You need to know the rules. You need to learn the lake. You need to sign your liability before you fish. So don't be that guy that they're looking for at check-in in the morning. And there's always somebody. They're announcing their name. They're trying to get them in all the boats through check-in to get them taken off. But there's somebody that hasn't signed your liability. You don't sign it, you don't weigh in. So, um, whatever. And before we even move on, um, some, some people out there, and mainly... Uh, you know, I know some of you are boaters, but why do you take this stuff so seriously? You're just a co-angler, you're a seat filler, you're, you have no control of the boat, and if you catch a fish, it's all about luck. Well, I, I severely disagree with you. Um, you can throw a comment in and make your point if you'd like, or you know ask you know we maybe we'll have a whole discussion about that but um, I fish these to win I may be a co-angler but I'm fishing to win I I also fish to better myself mentally on the water and also technically so even if you're uh, even if you're in a bad situation with a boater and you're not you're gonna learn something you might learn what not to do you might learn what to do you might learn some new techniques regardless just just uh, but I'm fishing to win I'm fishing to learn you know if I wanted to fish for fun I wouldn't leave my family and spend a bunch of money on this stuff just to have a good time I'd stay home I go fishing with my son or or whatever and I'd sleep in my own bed so yeah I like to be prepared I like to think of every little thing I, I need to know I like to go there like I said prepared to face anything I need to do any challenge that's going to arise and mentally physically I want my gear appropriate and everything I'm going to be ready for that big fat zero I'm going to be ready for it and then I'm going to blame my boater anyway, of course. The only thing the boater controls is where that boat ends up and how fast you guys fish. If he's on high speed troll motor, you're on high speed fishing. If he's slow to go, very thorough, you better figure it out. But you know what? You're in control of the baits you throw. You're in control of everything you do. How you fish, where you cast, to an extent you are in control of that as long as you're not screwing your boater or whatever that's a different video so make your own luck learn something but fish to win
don't just fish to I mean you you can have fun too but I like it when guys fish for fun because that's mainly a donation for guys that are serious about it so um, you know I've lightened up I I used to be like die hard get hard on myself and stuff like that for for mistakes and things but I really want to do well and that's why I'm there so anyway off the subject what can you do as a co-angler to prepare for a tournament that you're not going to be in control of the boat you're not going to be in control of anything but what you're fishing with so three big things i like to do is look at all the lake reports i can there are a bunch of lake reports on on the internet you can scour them so there's different guides there's different bait shops there's different things that will have different reports so Hopefully you're going to be able to read reports about bass, which that's what we're fishing for is bass, but a lot of times they'll just be talking about any fish. So you might have to scroll through, find some on bass. Hopefully you find something that way. If you don't, um, another good place is tournament results. There's always tournaments on, on all these lakes. Uh, there could have been a tournament this weekend or last weekend or a month ago or whatever um, Check out those results see kind of what's going on see what they're using, but don't only use those this is the BFL is what I'm fishing so I'm gonna look at all the BFL tournaments from the past say five six seven years at that lake at that time of year I'm gonna see what the weights were to win it. I'm gonna see what the what the cutoff weights were. Um, read the interviews afterwards. See what they said they were catching them on, and kind of get an idea. I mean, I know when we go to Ren Lake for the first tournament, which we're not this year, but it's gonna take seven to ten pounds generally to win on the co angler side, and half the field's gonna blank. So I'm pretty sure half the field's gonna blank this one, but who knows. But other than that, I mean, I, I pretty much know going into it what it's gonna take. So you might not care about that, but I do. I like to know. Um, of course, when I catch 10 pounds or something, somebody's gonna have 15, but. Anyway, um, the other thing, the last thing you can do is just, you know, past experiences at that lake are key. I mean, baits you're comfortable with throwing, things you've done in the past, hopefully you've taken notes if you've fished there before, uh, mental or written them down, whatever. You Hopefully you can remember the things you did or the baits that worked best or the techniques or the presentations or whatever. Hopefully you can remember that kind of stuff and uh, apply it. So, you know, you can put all this information together and then you will be more prepared than a lot of co-anglers at that tournament. Um, I know it's, it's sometimes bad to say, but uh, I mean, and I've had my share of zeros, way too many, but, and I've had some good tournaments, but Honestly, you're going into that tournament and uh, half the field is going to be serious and half of it, you know, you're fishing against half the field. So now you can use that knowledge to at least go in and and don't forget to learn everything about that lake, not only what uh, the fish are doing at that time, but learn, you know, what the how big it is or what the depths are or kind of the areas the clarity the 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 water temperature if it if they release water or move water for current or anything like that check those things out find out when they do it what kind of the schedule is you know it's just little things like that that you can you can have in your head even though you're not in control so hopefully this helps you out a little bit I can't wait for my first tournament, Shelbyville Lake, a uh, couple weeks to the Line Eye Division. So um, I'm actually uh, I'm going to be kind of doing a video for each tournament. It's going to be called uh, the Road to the All American or something. I'm 
I have a couple goals set this year. Winning one out of the back of the boat is one of my goals. Making it to the All-American is my ultimate goal as a co-angler. So, yeah, follow along. There's a tournament in April. There's a tournament in May. There's a tournament in July, August, September. Then the regionals in October if I qualify. So hopefully I have a video up for each one of those. And hopefully it's, you know, it'll probably be up and down situations. But uh, hopefully I can get one out for each one and, and make it to the All-American is my ultimate goal. So I appreciate you guys watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And go ahead and comment because I'm sure some of you are going to want to comment on uh, certain parts of this. So go ahead and comment and we'll see you out there.